concept that has been popular with OGs for many years and it's often done in ciphers. You see it when they're going to pass the wave from one person to another person. But you may actually know this concept from the G style ball video where it looks like you're holding a ball and waving with a ball, okay? So this is a really fun concept to play around with just because there's so much you can do and I know that anyone that plays basketball is going to really love this, okay? So the idea is to almost pretend you're bouncing a ball, okay? But stick with like a waving motion, so you imagine you're bouncing a ball on the ground or that you have a ball in your hands like this the ball can be big, it can be small, okay? And the idea with this ball is you can throw the ball, alright, like, or you could hold the ball like this and then throw it, and then send the, the ball down your body, alright? So if you're holding a ball, you can send it to your body, it can come out your body like this, it can come out your body like this, alright? So no matter where it is, you can throw the body into you can throw the ball into your body, it can come out your body, now you can pass it around your back, start the wave again, boom, put the, the ball here, alright? Play around with the ball. So you think about it like basketball, if you're bouncing it, right, like more like a basketball technique, you can also pass it between your legs, bring it back up your body again, just like that. You can throw the ball um, under, under your legs, like so. Uh, another way you can do it is if you're... Uh, in this position here, right? See, you can throw it underneath here. Even if you were to wave down the body, now you can pass the ball through the leg, just like that. So there's a lot you can do with this ball technique, whether it's throwing the ball like down your head, you imagine it's going into your body just like that. Now you have this ball here, alright? You turn the ball around. Just like... Okay, you have this ball that you can play around with. And there's a lot you can do, like I said. You can imagine it's any type of ball. It doesn't have to be a basketball. It could be like a baseball, so you throw the, the ball up. Now you can pretend you're like playing baseball with it. Where it gets creative is when you're passing the wave off to someone else. So you can imagine that you've got this ball in your hand. Now you're like bowling and you're going to pass this ball to the next person. And this is why it's often done in ciphers is when it's the end of your turn and you want to pass the wave to someone else, you can bowl it to them, you could say you've got this ball here, you place the ball on the ground, now you can kick it to the next person, okay? And the balls can be anything, so you can even do mine with it, whether you're going to bounce the ball and then it's like, oh, where did the ball go? Oh, here it is. Bring the ball back. Now you swallow the ball. Okay. You can pass the ball like like this. Okay. So there's. Uh, it's a quite a fun concept if you think about it like that, alright? 
So I'm sure if you play basketball or any ball sports, you can think of other things to do a bit, but that's a favourite by OGs, favourite by people in cyphers. Um, really old move. I wish I knew the history of like who created it because it's it goes way back in um, popping and stuff. So um, just have fun with it, play around with it. It's good to get other people involved when you have two people. That's the best way it's done is when you may be waving out to your knee and then you throw the ball to someone else and then the next person starts waving like. Okay, so have fun and just work on, just work on it, okay?